Hey everyone, it's Mark with New Ink, and today we're going to do the Hello World program in Java. Now, there's a thousand plus tutorials out there that demonstrate how to do this, but this tutorial is going to be unique in that we're going to create an executable as well. So when it's all said and done, you should have this right here. Double click, hello buttons, hello Mark, hello world. So what you'll need is Eclipse and window builder installed inside of Eclipse. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so if you don't have window builder installed, what you would do is you come to help, click here, install from site, If you know the URL, you can paste it in here. If you do not, let's click all available sites. Uh, let's try that again. All available sites. Let's click down here. And just click here. I have it installed, so I can't install it twice. But you would just click here, um, then click the next button, next one more time and it will install. What you'll need to do once it's installed is you'll have to close out and then reopen the clips. So we're not going to stop because you can pause the video. So now that you've done that, come here, new project, Java project, give it a name, um, just call it an example, and we'll go ahead and I will leave the default location. Click finish. Now we want to come here, right click new, and you don't want to go clash, you want to go other. Come down to other, you'll see window builder, expand, swing designer, expand, application window. Click next. You need to give it a name, we'll call it um, Ah. Hello world. And finish. Okay. So now you see once you do that, you actually have a little more code than you normally have. When you just uh, open a class. So anyway, click down here. You'll see a new tab, design. Let's click that. And this is what you get. And this is where you begin to construct. So come here, you want to go absolute layout. And this is not something you grab and drag over. You just click it. And then basically that's what you're doing. So you can see our area here. So we want to add a text field. So you want to click text, drag it over here, and Make it as big as you like. You can size it if you're familiar with Photoshop or some of those uh, pieces of software. You know, it's just a text box. Grab it, drag it, move it around. So, we'll put it here. Next, we want to come here. Make this smaller. A little smaller. Uh, let me see. Let's add a couple of buttons. So click buttons and or click button. Put one there. And you can either just grab another one or you can do a copy and paste. If you go ahead and copy and paste, you ensure that the buttons are the exact same size. Come on, paste. Paste for me. Okay. Maybe not. Do it the old fashioned way then. You should be able to copy and paste though, but I don't want to waste your time. You can play around with this and make yourself a bit more familiar. So, so if you're familiar with um, Visual Studio, you know that, like with the buttons, you just click it. 
and then you have your properties over here. So in this case, I'm going to change the name of the button to Submit. Change the let go, let go, let go, let go. Change this button also to submit. Okay. Ah, got an extra one there, get rid of that. So we have our two buttons, we have our text field, uh, let's change that, we want the text to be a little bigger, let's make it about like that, okay. And you can come up here, click run, got to save it, but it'll save. And this is what we have. Now right now the buttons don't do anything, and you can actually Type in text if you want it. You can actually disable this feature. Edible. And now when you run it, it asks you to save. And now you can't type anything in there. Okay. So, what else do we want to do? Let's make a text a little larger. Our alignment, we want it centered. Save. Now, let's go ahead and program these buttons. We want these buttons to do something. So, click the button, go to source, or actually, no, click the button, come down here, add event handler, action, action performed. Click that. Now, it's going to take you right to where you need to be, almost. I mean, it's an action, it's an action button, so you want to get inside the curly brackets. Now, normally, when you're doing Hello World, you're going to do, like, sys, and then, you know, and type your content here. That will not work in this case. The buttons will not do anything. And here, let me just demonstrate that. Okay. And you're like, well, wait, you, you changed it, so you can't edit it. So we'll go back just to show you. Okay, that is now true. Save, run. But it still does nothing. It does it down here, but it doesn't here. You see that? Okay. So let's make that button work the way we want it to. Come back. Get in there. So we want to change this. And we want to type in text field set text. We'll have the same Hello world. And close out. Save it. Now let's see what we get. There we go. I th threw two buttons on here just so you could see what happens if you were to click something else. Okay, so. You can either scroll down to the other button and type all this out, the public void, or the faster method. It's just go to the button, right click, event handler action, action performed. It'll place you where you want to be. And text field uh, set text. And we'll say hello YouTube. Close out. Save it. Run it.
Okay. So now what we want to do is uh, just let's uh, give it some color. Uh, give me some more colors. Let's go there. Yeah, that's cool for now. Actually, this video is running long, so let's try and wrap it up. Okay, so we have that saved. Now we want to make this an executable. So we want to go File, Export. And Java executables are actually called jar files. So, runnable jar. Next. And let me see. Come down here, grab it. And then you just want to put it in the location where you want it to be, where you want to export to. So most likely your desktop. You can rename it here. So we'll call it new. Make sure uh, package required libraries are included in the jar. And then finish. Now let's see what we have. Oh, there's new. Submit. And there you have it. So, hope you learned something new. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just leave uh, comments. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because there's nothing to subscribe to. And that is all. Thank you.